What's up, y'all? This is Big Daddy Bear again from Richard's Wasteland. Of course, I'm usually the cameraman, but Ricky's going to let me introduce this today. This is a 1977 J.C. Petty Pinto. All right, it's a moped. It's in kind of rough condition, like he'll tell you in a minute. It's been sitting uh, behind my dad's house for like eight years, and uh, he decided it's time to put something next to the lawnmower. <laughs> so we're going to have him fire it up. He's been working on it since yesterday. <coughs> and uh, why don't you tell us what you did? Well, when I first brought it home, and I probably should have had the camera for this. It's all good. There's a cover that goes right here. It's down there. And uh, it was full, to, full with water, and all this was rusted. Points was rusted. Everything was rusted. But I cleaned that all up, got the points loosened up, cleaned them up. And I've got the timing halfway <coughs> set, but I haven't really got into it yet. Carburetor was trashed a long time ago. That fucker's hot. <laughs> and uh oh sorry but i wanted to hear it fire up so i got this briggs and stratton carburetor right here off of uh, a lawnmower yeah and i'm running oil in it it's two stroke carburetor don't seem to mind we're gonna go ahead and fire it up for you guys so you can sit hear it now like usual note the uh, proper use of tools here you got you got to make sure you uh strip the screwdriver of its handle <laughs> yeah. All right, let's roll. We would uh, drive it around and start it up for you, but it's got flat tires. And uh, the timing ain't set, the carburetor ain't set, but I got that bitch to run. Yeah. <laughs> so now I just got to set the time and get the carburetor t tuned in right. And uh, I don't know, I may have to go with a carburetor without this choke in here, which Briggs & Stratton does make, and I got a primer on the front instead. And I may just go with that because it seems to run better without the choke at all. But, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, the ditch runs good. After eight years or so, sitting, not running at all. Should have seen the way we were starting this thing yesterday. <laughs> yesterday we was dumping gas straight down the tube. <coughs> and calling it good. Hey, fuck it, it got to it fired up. In order to drive it, though, all we're going to need to do is replace the tires. They rotted out bad sitting, as you can tell. Of course, we'll have to get some industrial tires, and we'll have to reinforce the frame so my fat ass can sit on it, but it'll probably look... tires are completely rotted. And we're going to do away with this and all the other electrical shit except for the, uh, the headlight. We may keep a turn signal, but we'll put it up here instead. And it figures bear's going to hump on it since it's new. <laughs> I can't get the gas cap off. Establish... The dominance. gas can's full of rust, so I give up on that. The speedometer will probably get out. Fuck it. Didn't you say you were going to see if we could put a tack on it? Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to see if I can get one on it. Get a shot of this coil. It's got an external coil, which was kind of weird. Right here. And it runs from uh, one of these, uh, damn, the magneto, up to the coil. Which I always thought, which I think is kind of weird, but... Hey, fuck it, it's cool. <laughs> so, it'll probably just get one of these and we'll call it good. Not sure yet.
I may try and find an actual two-stroke carburetor for it, but who gives a shit? All you need is wide open throttle. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are, are you going to do a truck burnout for him again? It seems to be running better. Yeah, I think I can do that. Probably not on this video. We're already at five minutes. We're almost out, but... We, the video would be longer, but we're out of memory on the fucking <clears throat> camera. Yeah. So I expect some truck burnout stuff, because I have been working on it, and I've got it running a lot better than it was. Yum yums. Well, have fun. Yum. <laughs> See y'all later.